Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur who is trying to get over that hump and make things happen. This podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to aspire higher and accomplish that dream. I'm no psychologist, but I do understand that psychological barriers are deeper and more powerful than what we want to admit. Um, People, we tend to hold ourselves back because self-doubt and self-sabotage is real. It's a real thing and we have to um, acknowledge that it's a real thing, especially for those of us who come from modest backgrounds, poor and poverty driven backgrounds. Even when we make the decision and the commitment that we will be successful and we know we can be successful, we still let doubts creep out from the shadows to plague us. Think about that. Even the most ambitious people who have already accomplished accomplished great things still have doubts that they can't do no more you've already grown a successful business but you don't think you can reach a million dollars so you keep your goals small um maybe a hundred thousand dollars will do yeah i'll be satisfied with that you know you're already savvy and intelligent in your career field but you don't think you can handle that executive or management position you've made it through law school but you don't think you can pass the bar exam so you settle to be a paralegal you made it through medical school but you're unsure of your residency assignment we put ceilings on our potential we may believe that we can be great but we don't believe that we can be greater and we believe these things for two primary reasons one we believe them because of our own insecurities about ourselves and our abilities and two because nobody around us whether it be in our family or our community has done it before so therefore we think it can't be done That's when these doubts creep in from the shadows, eating away at our confidence, eating away at our faith, demoralizing any good thought that we have. What do you do when this happens? How do entrepreneurs and dream chasers combat these pests? We have to go on the offensive. One of my favorite basketball players ever is Derrick Rose, hometown kid from here in Chicago. And in a press conference early in his career, he said, why can't I be MVP? Despite the fact that he was so young in the league, I think it was three or four years at the time, he asked that rhetorical question with boldness. And guess what? He became MVP. And he is still the youngest player to ever win the highest individual regular season award in the NBA today. Why can't you be great? Why can't you make a million dollars or receive a million dollars in financing? Why can't you accomplish your dreams? Because your insecurities breed doubts from the shadows. And it's time to go on the offensive and search and destroy those doubts. Remind yourself that there is no limit on what you can do. You have already invested too much time. Too much energy and too much money in this business in your career. You have already defeated the odds. You have already done things that you didn't think you can do in the first place. Don't you understand that when you first began, you had doubts about your current status where you are right now? Search deep inside yourself for the cause of these doubts seeping into your mind and then destroy them with the truth. The only person that needs to hear the truth is yourself. You have to tell yourself to focus. Tell yourself that you are capable and you are qualified to do this thing. The truth will always destroy doubts. It wipes your mind clean of all the dirty residue that doubts leave in you and it refreshes you. You have to search and destroy many times on your entrepreneurial and career journey. It's necessary to stay functional and to succeed. You have to break down these psychological barriers that are limiting you. If you want to host that event and you never did an event before, do it anyway. If you need $2 million for financing for your business, seek it anyway. Write that business plan out thoroughly and seek it anyway. You got rejected in this career field? Well, expand your horizons and apply for that other career field that you've been dodging. Your desire and determination will blow the ceiling off your potential. You will find new strengths you have mentally and physically that you never thought you had before. But first, you have to search your mind for these doubts and you have to destroy them with the truth. 
And the truth is psychological barriers are very real, but we have the power to remove them. Nobody can do it for you, but yourself. You can remove these psychological barriers and you can destroy these doubts as long as your desire is strong enough for your goals. I had to do it time and time again. I've been in business for eight years and I still struggle with insecurities and I still have to search and destroy these insecurities so that I can continue to prosper. So let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality and whatever insecurities you have about yourself, destroy them. And destroy the notion that just because nobody in your family or your community has done it before means that you can't do it either. Destroy all of it. Today, tomorrow, and every day after that and whenever it's needed. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll talk to you next week.